Hi there, friends. Welcome to another episode of We Are the Church, a daily moment of encouragement brought to you by the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. Happy Monday to you, friends. It's great to be with you today. I'm always excited at the possibilities when a new week starts. And uh, today I'm going to be reading from uh, Paul's first letter to the Corinthian church. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verses 19 through 23. This is what the author says. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I might win more of them. To the Jews, I became as a Jew in order to win the Jews. And to those under the law, I became as one under the law, although I myself am not under the law, so that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law, I became as one outside the law, though I am not free from God's law, but under Christ's law, so that I might win those who are outside the law. To the weak, I became weak so that I might win the weak, I have become all things to all people, that I might by all means save some. And I do it all for the sake of the gospel, so that I may share in its blessings. I read a story uh, recently about a man who was lost on a country road in Alabama. He was trying to find his way to Montgomery, and he turned down a wrong street, saw a large elm tree, and then a big field of a, of a farm next to the road. And as he drove along, he saw a farmer sitting on a fence. And so he pulled over to the side of the road, rolled down the window, asked the farmer, can you give me directions to Montgomery? The farmer gazed up and down the road, and then he proceeded to give the man detailed and in, in intricate instructions, where to turn left, where to turn right, how far you need to go, what are some of the landmarks you need to see. And so the man thanked the farmer and he drove off. And about 30 minutes later, realized that he was driving past a large elm tree that he recognized. And there's a farm that looked very familiar to him. And sure enough, there was a farmer, same farmer, sitting on the fence. And he pulled the car over to the side and he rolled down the window and said, I've been driving around for a half hour trying to find Montgomery and I'm right back where I started. What gives? And the farmer looked at him and said, well, I wasn't going to take the time to give you directions to Montgomery until I knew whether you could follow directions. Have you ever met people like that? (laughs) I have. I've met a lot of them in the church, too. And the church has a job, as Paul so eloquently laid out to the Corinthians. uh, The church has a job to share the gospel of Christ that we might ourselves share in the blessings of that gospel and to win as many people as we can, not to our church, but to a relationship with Jesus Christ. And we do this out of love. But sometimes we find ourselves giving directions to people that go all over the map, and they don't get to the point. Come to our church, come to our barbecue, come to this, come to that, come to this outreach ministry. But if all of that invitation doesn't actually bring them to the point where uh, they are offered Christ himself, and offered in such a way that it demands a verdict from them, then we are kind of wasting everybody's time, are we not? As my good friend, the Reverend Dr. Matthias Forsen, who is a a pastor in Ghana in West Africa, as he would often say, we have to keep the main thing the main thing. And he's right. So if you meet a stranger and you have an opportunity in that moment to share Christ, don't send them on a big wild goose chase. Just get right to the point. Tell them how to find what it is they're looking for. This is true evangelism, and it's the most loving thing we can do for another person. Maybe you'll have an opportunity to do that this week. Don't hold back. Don't uh, don't be um, concerned that you're going to look foolish. Just share the gospel straight out. Tell them how to get to where they are trying to get. Let's be in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us along in this journey in such a way that we can offer to others the good news of salvation in Christ. For we do know and we do believe, O Lord, that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. And for this we are grateful. And we know this because we ourselves 
are on the same journey. And so, O oh Lord, help us to share the gospel of Christ. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hey, friends, thanks for stopping by on this Monday. It's always good to have a chance to be with you. I want to remind you, because if you're living in Southern California, it's going to be very hot for the next few weeks. Um, it's, get, it's heating up. So just remember to stay hydrated. Drink your water at regular intervals. It'll make you feel better, and everything will um, go a lot smoother for you. So drink your water. And until next time, I'm Pastor Bill Johnson reminding you to do no harm, to do all the good you can, and to stay in love with God. I'll see you next time.